Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM and if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment the links to our social media is coming up on the screen now including things like our Teespring store so you can buy things like this and help support the channel and show how much you're enjoying what we do. Today well I'll start off with an apology because I am not driving this. Yes, I know, I am disappointed too. But I am back at the Statfold Barn Railway for their Enthusiast Day because it is the birthday of Tranquil number four. And to celebrate, they've got the oldest steamboat locomotive in the UK running alongside the last. So join us for a chasing dinosaurs here at the Statfold Barn Railway. As with most days at Statfall, it started off in the preparation area, looking at the engines, getting ready for the day service. And what I was most excited to see was Fiji, Huswell Clark number 972 of 1912, which had been in bits last time I was here. And also out was Segan, Andrew Barkley 1991 of 1931, and Martian Avonsite 2067 of 1933. Here we see the two of them heading off for their first train of the day. Wonderful to see two fresh from overhaul locomotives out living again. And with the locomotives clear, we see the crossing being put back to the clear position. The best thing about the Statfold Barn Railway is that there is always something going on. Here we see number 19, a Hotwell Clark, number 1056, built in 1914, heading off to collect its first train, passing by Isaac, a Bagnall 3023, built in 1953. Whilst up at this end, I returned to the platform in time to see Alpha arrive with one of the passenger sets and also stumbled across some of you guys. Yes, that's right, a group of LMM supporters had gathered on the platform. And whilst up this end, I had a bit of a nose and discovered this, the frames of the Terrier Fenchurch of the Bluebell Railway, which is at the Statfold Barn Engineering for a bottom end overhaul. And with my curiosity peaks, I headed off to have a look inside the roundhouse, pausing as I did so to take a look at some of the exhibits that are stored outside. The roundhouse itself never ceases to be nothing short of amazing, with such a massive variety of different locomotives on show. This one here, this is my favourite, very important to me. First thing I ever drove, very important, is GP39. Otherwise known as Pong Cross. Uh, look there, you'll see something wearing an LMM hoodie. Good to see the merchandise being supported. I've seen that one running. Still amazed how they got that up there. Having had our fill of the wonders of the roundhouse, we headed out to the garden railway. My personal favourite bit, something that one day, in my dreams, I would love to be able to recreate. Something just and beautifully and wonderfully quaint. And operated by Kerr Stewart, 3128 of 1918, Roger turned out in this absolutely gorgeous grey livery. It, it's superb, isn't it?
One of the great things about the Stackpole Barn Railway, as well as the sheer magnitude of the size of the collection, is that it allows you to get up close and personal with some of your favourite engines, like Fiji here, whilst there is a veritable feast of activity always around you. Things are always moving, trains moving up and down. Just like here, as Prince makes its way down past us, at the same time we get the K1, the Garrett, working its way back up. There is more action than you could shake a stick at.
Grazie un filo. Scotty sitting on the floor on a Welsh Harden line. <laughs> With my mum not very pleased, I've just nearly spent 100 quid on the on rail tickets.
Very oh, that was on purpose. I thought someone had just knocked you over. That was my shoe. I'm graceful. I like this. <laughs> imagine a butterfly and imagine it that has two legs missing and one of its wings torn in half. And that is me. Okay. So the way you felt was more imagine a tree that's been chopped down without noticing. You didn't bend. <laughs> just no, my back's not brilliant at the moment, you know. It's that bending thing doesn't work, it's just I had to commit. You know how a goalkeeper is good? Like when the goalkeeper is, they throw no. themselves and they don't I care about how they know. land. You know the football thing, the man who stands in the big white thing? I'm vaguely familiar with yeah. the term. A good one is one who doesn't care about his self preservation and just throws himself the ball. Oh. And that's why I did that. committed to the task and threw myself in. And the that's... way I always used to do it in school was run away from any ball. Yeah, moving. running away is the bad. Yeah, yeah. No, running away is good. Run away from the ball and that way you don't get beaten up. Because I was a small guy, so whatever rugby games were going on, I would run away from the no, ball. No, rugby is not the same as football. These are no, different no, no, things. No, no. American football is different as well. Yeah. I know this, and I don't know much. <laughs>
Alright. Thank <laughs> you. 
too soon, however, it was the end of the day, and time for a stat bold tradition. Yes, that's right, the lineup of all the engines that had taken part in the day's service. Which meant, of course, that they had to bring all the engines together. It truly is a really rare and wonderful sight to see so many engines all together at the same time and engines from different parts of the world that worked all over the globe as well all brought together and condensed into one location seeing such a variation in different designs and the different ways that the different manufacturers went about solving the same problem of the steam engine. For an enthusiast it remains a truly magnificent and almost magical experience. Particularly this time, having the standard gauge hands that sat there as well to really emphasize the size of the narrow gauge counterparts. It was absolutely spectacular. And of course, at the end of the day, this is what it was all about. The oldest seamable locomotive in the UK, next door to the youngest, the newest that was built for industry. What an absolute treat. And where else, really, can you see a lineup just like this? Or hear something like this? Absolutely magical. And with that, it was the end of the day and the locomotives returned up to the shed. And so that brings us to the end of the day here at the Stadtfeld Barn Railway, celebrating Trank Quill's birthday. And it's been absolutely fantastic. The enthusiastic days here are an absolute highlight of the railway calendar and well worth coming to see. And if you want more information in the video description, there is the link to Stadtfeld Barn's website. We can find out other events they do and when they do other enthusiast events. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video, how about clicking somewhere over there for one of the other videos that we've done here at the Stafford Barn Railway or down there for one of our reviews on a locomotive. Thanks for watching, guys, and a massive thank you to the Stafford Barn Railway for putting this on. We'll see you next time.